What's up, Beard family? Alex from Mission Beard here, and today we are covering one of male grooming's biggest myths. Does shaving increase beard growth? Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. If you're not a subscriber, well, that is just the kind of top tier suspense that you're missing out on by not being part of this channel. So, uh, yeah, please. No faffing around in this one. Let's, let's jump straight into it. So, you've woken up in the morning, you grabbed your razor, and you've shaved nice and clean, looking great before you head into work. By midday, it's starting to look like your beard is already growing back. Maybe this is making you look untidy and scruffy, maybe you're even getting in trouble with your boss for it. This is actually the reason I quit my last full-time job. I used to shave clean first thing in the morning, and by 11 or 12 o'clock, it looked like I already had 5 o'clock stubble, or haven't shaved in a couple of days. The company got on my back for it, and I've, I've never looked back. But off the back of that, it made me think, am I better off just leaving it and letting it grow, as opposed to trying to shave every day? Is it actually making my beard grow faster? The truth is, there's no basis to this at all. The fact that shaving makes your beard grow faster is a complete illusion. And to explain why that's the case, we need to dive into the science a little bit of beard hair growth. Both head hair and beard hair growth can be split into three phases. Anagen, catagen, and telogen. Working through these phases on your head hair can take years, but on your beard it is a much, much faster process. Starting with phase one, anagen. This is the growth phase. Phase one, the anagen phase, is where your hair follicle works to produce the beard hair fiber. Now, when hairs grow, they are thicker at the base and then get thinner towards the tip. And when those new beard hairs grow, they start by growing blunt at the tip when they come out of your face instead of rounded or pointed. Because they're blunt and flat, especially if you've got a dark beard like I do here, this can give the appearance that your beard is growing thicker and it can also give the illusion that it's growing much faster uh, when it's shorter. This simply isn't true. It's, as I said, literally just a, a trick of the eye. So. If you're waking up in the morning and shaving before work and then getting frustrated or getting heat from your boss that it looks like it's growing back by midday, you're going to want to shave as close as you can to your face. This starts by using a, uh, a hot towel. This opens up the pores and exposes the follicles. This is the reason the barbers do it. And if you've ever had like a hot shave, an Italian shave with the barbers, you're going to notice that, well, for me at least, it's a couple of days before it really starts to grow back to any length of stubble that I've got here this is i haven't shaved this today this is what mine looks like after like 12 to 18 hours of growth yeah so use a hot towel open up those pores expose those hair follicles then next the razor type is equally important if you want to get a really close shave it could be worth getting a cut throat razor or like a straight razor safety razors also work really really well safety razors are called safety razors because spoiler they are safer than cutthroat razors. First time I used a cutthroat, I sunk it straight into my face. So be very aware that these things are very, very sharp. Also do not test the sharpness on your finger, as if I had to tell you that, but I wish, <laughs> I wish someone had told me, right? And if you're in the opposite camp and you want your beard to be growing faster and you're getting a, a week or two in and you're shaving it off because you think it's growing through thicker and faster, don't do that. The best thing you can do is give it some time. For the first few weeks, your beard is going to grow slowly um, and it's probably going to make you look a little bit scruffy. This I've always called the hobo face and it can take four to six weeks to get through this. But once you're there, you're there and you're going to have the makings of an awesome beard on your face. If you're looking for surefire hits on things that are going to help grow a thicker, a thicker beard faster, the only real option that you have in your arsenal is monoxidil. There is some anecdotal evidence to show as well that using beard rollers can stimulate faster, thicker hair growth from uh, dormant hair follicles that weren't producing beard hairs before. However, it does come with its dangers as Dr. Manny Mittel mentioned in our interview the other week. I don't like people derma rolling. There's this whole fad again about derma rolling or derma stamping. I think sometimes when you don't know what you're doing, you can cause more trauma. Uh, more harm than good that ultimately leads to superficial scarring. So if you did ever want to get a transplant, which is the only definitive way to get more hair anywhere, 
um, then you are potentially uh, limiting what you can actually get done because you've got superficial scarring. There's a lower chance that the implanted, the, the grafts that we take from, from other parts of the body and implant them in certain areas, there's a lower chance of them taking as effectively if, as if it wasn't touched. Generally speaking though, the thickness and speed at which your beard grows is largely governed by testosterone and your genetics. And if anyone tries to tell you that their beard oil is going to definitely make your beard grow thicker and faster, they're not selling beard oil, they are selling snake oil. Ignore them. Beard oil is going to help support you and help you grow the best beard that you can to your genetic potential. It is not a magic elixir. So next time you're looking at ads on Instagram and someone's promising you the world for beard care, unless it's minoxidil, uh, yeah, just don't give them your money. So that's it for this video, myth busted. Shaving does not make your beard grow faster and it does not make your beard grow thicker. It just gives the appearance of this. If you like what you've seen, we're pretty new to this. Um, drop us a follow, nope. subscribe. YouTube, yes, it's YouTube, subscribe. Click that box below. I put out beard content, I try to at least once a week. In a couple of months time as well, for the clickbait, I'm gonna be shaving this thing completely off. Shock, horror. And from there, I'm going to be documenting how it grows over the course of a year and not really shaving it for that period. So maybe that'll be interesting and uh, cool to see you in the comment section reminding me that if you're not handsome without a beard, you're not handsome.